Hello family, today we continue to play Minecraft and again we have great adventures. In this series we're exploring something that I'll tell you later. I want to tell you that in the village where we now live, in one of the houses there is a chest with a map that will allow us to find a large mansion. That's where we need to go. How do you like my idea? Hello family! Wow! Papa Pig, I really like this idea. I have never been to large mansions in Minecraft and would very much like to visit it. It will be quite a long experience in travel and think we will get enough positive emotions from such a trip. Just in time, George and Peppa will feel on themselves what a journey and for the first time will go to a large mansion. Hi parents, hi George. Finally we play Minecraft, this is my favorite game. It is very addictive and even sometimes breathtaking from this game. This is very cool, I am very glad that today we are going on a great journey. I hope this castle will be so big that it will not be enough just to lift your head up. I imagine it is large and three-story. <laughs> so now we are going to search all over the village. All houses can be run. Do not be afraid that you will drive the residents. I start with the first house. It's probably some local library, but there's nothing here besides a workbench. Then you can run right to the next cabin and it'll probably be the farmer's house along with the garden. But I don't think they're gonna have a map of the mansion. They don't need it. All right, well, I'm gonna go through all the little houses in this village. There's plenty of them, but they're small and it won't take long to check everyone out. So I'm gonna go through all the houses real quick. And if I don't, Peppa's gonna have all the hope of finding them. So far, I can't see anything in any of the houses. There is a lot of emptiness, or in some of the stairs to the roof. Okay, well, I'm gonna go check out all the other houses that my parents didn't check. There are so many gardens, I would hide this chest somewhere here, not in the house. All right, let's just find this chest since the parents haven't found anything yet. Let's see the little house first, but there's nothing here either. Then there was the biggest house in this village, where 100% would be a chest, because we went through everything. I didn't realize the chest was hidden in the most visible house. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we found the map, it's time to hit the road. I can sort of navigate the maps, so family, follow me. We have to walk a pretty long distance because the mansion is in the middle of the woods and we're just running through the field. The main thing is to keep up with me and do not get lost. We need to find this mansion as soon as possible. Wow. It's pretty cool we're going to be in this mansion soon. Peppa, you're doing a great job of navigating Minecraft maps. We'll try to keep up with you even though you're too fast. At the same time, we will have a small run, can be considered a sport in Minecraft. Ha ha ha. I think we are already running to this mansion. I can't wait to see this beauty with my own eyes. I've only seen his size on a map, and they're very scary in a good way. It is so huge that I think it is possible to settle there from 1,000 people without any problems. The main thing is to find a place where to place them. I think that there is everything there for life, and it will be like a city with everything important. <laughs> Finally, we got to this mansion. It's so huge, I'm just shocked. More home in life I've never seen, and it's very cool. I suggest you settle here for a while, maybe forever. Just need to make sure that no one lives in this house. I think it's the home of some bandits or something like them. Oh my god, what a huge house. I am just shocked. I really like being here. I feel very small. Ha ha ha. There's such big stairs and high ceilings. It's pretty cool. I suggest we all take a look around this house right now and see what's basically there. And I think we'll find something interesting. We'll also have to find a room where we can stay. I love it here, I'm glad I'm here. It's really cool that we checked the secret legend of the village and found this map, and now we're gonna run around this mansion and even start living here. That's really cool because there's so much space to play. For George and I, it's like a big city where you don't even have to go out and spend all your time here. <laughs> so, let's begin perhaps to inspect this large mansion. One floor will take a lot of time, so we separated. The first thing I notice is that there is no light in most of the rooms and so you need to carry torches with you for the time being. The first room I found was something like a guest table for one or even two people. It's not really clear why. Also I found here immediately some kind of prison. It seems that there really lived robbers and locked their victims here. Okay, well, I'll go the other way from the main staircase. There are such big corridors, I love it. Immediately I noticed the same room as Papa Pig. 
It is very good that there are a lot of repetitive rooms. You can make something useful out of them. After all, we will not have guests anyway. I also noticed that there are even rooms with their own garden. Weed is grown somewhere and mushrooms somewhere. It's so cool that it's all in the same house. Okay, well, I'm running down this beautiful corridor with big columns and it looks fantastic. I found some big warehouse with empty chests. It is very nice that there is such a large warehouse because here we can store all our extracted resources in different chests. One will contain all the ore and the other will contain all the necessary tools for our survival. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to start looking at the second floor, and I think there's a lot of interesting stuff. The minute I come across some weird room, it's probably some kind of rec room. But running far away, I have already found some not very large library, and this is very good because we will have our own private library, and you can read different books. There are so many of them. Okay, well, like the first floor situation, I'm running the other way from Dad. Immediately I notice an attractive room in which you can make a beautiful room in which we all together will fit so much and there will be plenty of space. As I go further, I notice a room with a table. Here we can basically invite guests and arrange large feasts. The room my mother found is very suitable for us to build our cozy room here. We've already taken all the resources necessary to build it. So now I'm doing all the extra stuff the bandits left behind and we're getting started. We do the whole arrangement of things. There is just enough space for a beautiful arrangement of beds with bedside tables and it is very cool. It's so wide, it fits four beds. That's really cool. Next, we're going to put some cabinets in so that we can put all our clothes and other things. I'm starting to like it here with a beautiful interior. Okay, well, I'm gonna help my mom and I'm gonna set up the rest of my stuff. I will need to build a small kitchen in our room. Also the tables we will eat at, and of course we will have our toys here, with which we will play every day in this big mansion. Hooray! So, we have created a beautiful interior in this room. It has become so comfortable. Oh my God! Who is it? What kind of zombies are walking around? I hope they don't kill us. Oh my god! It's like zombie bandits who live or used to live in this house and they heard us and found us in our room. I am very afraid. I did not expect to see them all here. What should we do? Don't worry, parents. I'll deal with them now. No wonder I scraped a stone sword and now I'll kill them all. Get it. Get a dirty and scary zombie. Die. Peppa, oh my god! You did well to save us from the zombies. I'm proud of you. You're very brave. But now that no zombies are coming in, we need to do a lot of protection and no zombies are going to get in here. I was very scared of them, and so I will make the strongest defense against them, and never in my life will they come to us. Mama Pig has finally finished protecting our room, and the final part of our protection will be a high-tech door through which certainly no one will ever be able to pass but us. Now our beautiful room with a nice interior will never get hurt, and we will stay in this mansion forever despite some scary zombies. <laughs>